So new album, Cannot Rearrange. Tell me your uh, your favorite songs off the album. Ego. Oh jeez. What am I into right now? It uh, it just kind of depends. Like I go through my phases. I, well, actually, um, Lightweight is probably my favorite track overall because it's, um, well, because I have a cool lick on it. <laughs> <laughs> but um, uh, the arrangement is, is different from, from our other kind of poppy, happy, folky tunes. Um, and we had um, Sebastian Imans on drums. and. I can't remember what he ended up playing, but he just he played this cool, um, almost like a tra uh, not a train, but like a um, like a galloping horse or yeah. something that came in. It was it made it very country. It brought like a very like country vibe to it. But I love it. I yeah. love what he did. It's funny because I was gonna say the same song, lightweight. Lightweight. I I, I love that song, and we. We've, that's like one of our oldest songs, mm -hmm. and we had recorded it on this little EP. This we recorded at MI for free, which was just like kind of like here's a little sample of what we do. But it was literally us in the studio for like two hours, mm -hmm. and we recorded all the guitars, vocals. We had some background vocals, <laughs> and we just did everything that we could in four hours and then put it together. And I remember like that song almost didn't go on the album. Well, I mean, it was like oh, I'm so tired of yeah. that song, and because I've been playing it for so long. But it was one of those things where when we were in the studio, like every week there'd be like a new song that I would be like, I love. And that song, at the end of the whole process, that one probably stuck in my head too. Another one is Safe Though. I think that one is a really, really strong song. Yeah, the same thing. Like it's, it's I think, one of our more mature arrangements, um, just the way that it builds with the band. But one thing I was going to say about Lightweight is that um, when she recorded her background vocals at the very end, I wasn't there for it, um, which was fine because you know you come into the studio when you could, and I wasn't there. <coughs> and I remember she wasn't telling me any anything that she was doing with her vocals, and I wouldn't tell her any of the overdubs that I was doing. So you just kind of do what you do, and then like cross your fingers when they came in. You're like, yeah. Ooh, hope that. And so I remember I it, they turned it on, and it got to the part at the very end with the train. Yeah, like runs. that, ooh, you know, like, yeah. I, I harmonized my voice. And yeah. Kind of sounds sound like a train. Kind of sounds like a train. And I remember jumping up out of the seat and just being like, yes, yes. Yeah. It was just the, the, it was so cool. It was one of those where I was really proud of her. What about live? Do you find that audiences are identifying with certain songs more than others? Yeah. Yes. Like, Help Me Out is that song. Like, it's weird because we, we really like that song, but it's not the song that we're, like, most in, like, when we talk about the album, that's not the one that we bring up, but, like, people love that song live. And then it's great because I do think that the, um, that was one of those where it was one of my least favorite when we were recording. Yeah, same as me. And now I'm, like, very proud of the recording. It was just like, ah, yeah. and there were so many standouts to me, and that was one of them that wasn't as much a standout, but... At the end of the day, I'm very, very proud of that one too. But yeah, that one is a really big one live. Um, Safe is pretty big live, mm -hmm. and we can play it. What yeah, because we have um, Gabby Moreno on the album, and when she's able, we, we don't play it really live without her. Mm -hmm. um, and when she's able to, to come and sing, it's, it's pretty good. What are some of the other ones that people really like live? Um, well, let that's go. It. Only two. <laughs> They only come two, really two hit wonders. Yeah, then they leave. Then they leave. Yeah, that's it. They so. just file out. So essentially, the hotel cafe is constantly booking you just to hear two songs <laughs> just live. Hear, just to hear "Help Me Out" and in rotation and safe. And then we do time. them in Spanish. And we are actually working on Italian versions uh, of the songs. Maybe next time, roll out a burlesque. Yes. Element to it. That would be kind of. Yeah, I could do I that. I think that fits. That, I'm on my way. I'm very much on my way. The, sh the skirts just keep getting shorter. Well, let me ask you something about your live shows. Do you see more women than men? Or do you see just about the same audience split? It's like it's the same. same split. And it's very weird. Like, our music is not for a specific age range at all. Like, we used, um, your mother sent some email, or sent a bunch of CDs out to people. And this man, who was it? it just, was he just a friend of your mom's? He's some, I think, cousin distant cousin or something. You know how Italian families are. Everybody's your cousin. Yeah. <laughs> so some cousin, but um, 
he played it for his granddaughters, or they, they saw the CD sitting on the table, and they saw Bird and Fish, and they were like, what is this? And they put it in, and I guess they listened to Destroy Me over and over and over again during the holidays, and then they started, I mean, these are little girls, like six-year-old girls, I think? Yeah. And then they started, like, choreographing dance moves. Dance moves, and I have, I also teach guitar, and I have two students, two sisters, that did that for me. I gave them the CD and then I came to the lesson and they were like, let me show you something. And they choreographed yeah. this cute little have, dance. I have a friend that has a two-year-old that like sings along. She actually went up to her dad and was like, she said, destroy me, daddy. Like, he's like, oh, those two. Like, he was so angry at us that day, but at the same time. And then there's like, you know, 70-year-olds that... 70 plus year olds that love our music. So I mean, our shows, we had um, a couple of older women at the hotel, last hotel cafe show that were sitting in the front row. I didn't know them and they came up afterwards and were just like, you know, love the music. But I mean, I think average, it's men, women, animals, and no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that didn't fly, did no. it? Um, average age is probably like 20s, 30s. Yeah. Yeah, like our, our generation, definitely, yeah. you know.